Well, thank you, Dean Bierbauer. Is there anybody here ready for a Hootie and the Blowfish reunion? This Dean knows how to draw a crowd, doesn't he? Uh, I'd like to start, in fact, by acknowledging uh, Dean Charles Bierbauer. You know, he is a former beloved CNN reporter. There's a presidential debate on CNN tonight, and I bet if they had invited him to be the moderator, he would have turned him down to be here with us at the university today. Nobody has worked uh, longer or harder than our Dean. Let's recognize Dean Bierbauer, please. Today is, in fact, a historic day uh, for the university and a sentimental day for me. The School, School of Journalism was established in 1923, and Charles remembers that day. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Sorry. He does not remember that day at all. Uh, and that was long before this particular building was constructed. The J School was housed in Legree, a residential uh, dormitory right around the corner on our historic a horseshoe and moved to the Coliseum in 1969, the house that McGuire built and the house that McGuire deserted and everyone deserted except for the, of course, uh, this beloved college and the College of, Hotel, of, of Hospitality, Retail and Sport Management and they're on their way out too. This building, by the way, was completed in 1962 it was originally the home to both the College of Pharmacy and the Department of Biology and was the final, the newest building, if you will, to ever be constructed inside the historic wall of this horseshoe in 1962. In 1969, the building was named Coker College to honor David R. Coker, an outstanding alumnus and former member of our Board of Trustees. And when pharmacy and biology was relocated, they took the Coker name with them, the Coker Life Sciences Building over there. And then this building became the home of the newly designated University of South Carolina School of Medicine. And a few, that was in 1975. And when the medical school moved to the VA campus, the building was again renovated and became the home for the College of Health, later to be named as the state's only accredited school of public health and ultimately the home of the Arnold School of Public Health. I do remember serving here uh, between 1998 and 2002, uh, but what I remember most, it really isn't a sentimental feeling, I remember the rain bucket in my office. For the leaky roofs, I remember the, uh, the uh, specialist who would come in to remove the mold from the office and, and from around the school. Uh, but I do love this building. Isn't it a beautiful, classic school building? Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, that many universities would have taken a building like this down, a 1962 vintage building, uh, not overly efficient rather than preserved, conserved? protected, renovated, upgrade, uh, upgraded, and filled it with technology. And I am so glad we didn't take this uh, wonderful, uh, beautiful classroom building uh, down. But it truly is as good as it looks outside. It's what's inside that really counts. So, of course, this is the, the home of the Journalism and Mass Communication School, as Charles indicated, the cousin to our a school of uh, library and information sciences. We have 56 faculty members uh, inside this building, over 2,000 undergraduate and graduate students. We offer two bachelors, three masters, multiple doctoral degrees, certifications, and specialization degrees. And we have around 13,000 alumni from this school, many of whom are here with us. How many are alumni? of the J School, wow. So uh, I congratulate and, and salute the dean, the faculty, the staff, the administration, the board of trustees. It's a, I like to call it not a red letter day, but what do we say at Carolina? A garnet letter day. We have taken a beautiful a building that needed some TLC and restored it into one of the nation's most modern tech 
technologically proficient buildings where world-class education will take place. Now let's hear from the faculty and the students. Walk around the, the, uh, the corner for the horseshoe and hear a great concert. Congratulations to one and all. Thank you.